hello hello welcome back to my channel and vlogmas if you guys are new around here my name is Kazmira. um i'm only showing this like weird part of the kitchen because i'm doing a big home tour we just moved to this house in nashville and i can't wait to be able to show you guys the whole thing and it is going to be part of vlogmas so get ready but today we're gonna get into it i don't really know if there's like a good way to explain this video but Evan helped me think of this video and this idea. I am not like a, a foodie or really like fitness comes in waves. Usually. Well, it's been coming in waves for me. I'm overall like I eat pretty healthy and try to like look at the ingredients of what I'm eating um, on a regular basis. But I feel like with the holidays around and just like, I don't know, <laughs> food in general, there's so much sugar and stuff that we don't even pay attention to it or we may not even know of like how much sugar is actually in our food. So I asked you guys on Instagram to send in like some of your favorite snacks or just like your favorite food to eat and you guys served me some good hearty snacks. <laughs> not really, but I'm right there with you when it comes to just not the healthiest snacks. Um, so I will be looking at the sugar count in each one of those items and literally weighing it out which i'm gonna have to get more sugar it's in the pantry but weighing out the sugar on a scale so we can actually see how much sugar is in all of this stuff so i'm gonna get more sugar and then we i will tell you the first thing we're gonna weigh out for reference i think i'm just gonna use this mason jar as long as it'll fit which i pray to god it does um, and this is, I think, like a 12 ounce mason jar, just so you know. But I'm gonna start with a couple of things that are just in our pantry, which actually we haven't even opened this up yet. And this is actually organic ketchup. So this one I feel like won't be too bad. It says that there's two grams of sugar. Wow. Okay, so this is about two grams of sugar right here okay i really thought it was gonna be so much more so that's in one tablespoon so i would say people um usually give more than one tablespoon of ketchup but now we know that's in ketchup okay now i'm going to show you guys these abc um almond butter cacao bars the serving size it says there's six in here for one bar there is total sugar is six grams so that doesn't seem like, I don't know, maybe that does seem like a lot. This is also like the lowest sugar granola bar I can find. I mean, in a granola bar, like why do you even have to add this, you know? This is actually four grams of added sugars and then the two grams is just from the cacao, I'm assuming, but what the heck. Okay, so let's get to the list that you sent me. Oh God, my mom is sending me things about taxes. I can't read that right now. Caroline actually said Cheez-Its. So let me look up Cheez-Its real quick. I will put a little um, like ingredient thing right here so you can see. Okay, this is actually so surprising to me. I thought for sure there would be sugar in Cheez-Its. Um, I just pulled this from Walmart, but it actually says that there's zero grams of sugar in the original Cheez-Its. Okay, someone else said, oh, Caroline also said sweet tea. I think I have sweet tea in the cupboard, let me look. So I've had this for a long time because it's so sweet, like I rarely make it. Why does it not say it on here? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so this is, wait, what am I even looking at right now? This is Lipton Iced Tea Mix Southern Sweet Tea. So it's this, the thing that I have in my own cupboard. Um, and then as you can see, the total sugars, which are all added, is 25 grams. And the serving size is only two tablespoons. Who's gonna drink two tablespoons of sweet tea? There, this is out of control. Okay, let's see what 25 grams looks like. Two tablespoons, <laughs> I am shook. I can taste the sugar in the air. A pinch less. Okay, that's 25 grams of sugar. And then what did I say? Two tablespoons of water. This is ridiculous. 
two of these. <laughs> so this much sugar is in this much water. I'm gonna see, I bet this is like one tablespoon at least. <gasps> so your guys' serving of sweet tea of two tablespoons and 25 grams of sugar is pretty much just a tablespoon and a half of sugar and one tablespoon of water. I mean a half tablespoon of water. This is one tablespoon of sugar, full. And then look at how much is left. Probably like almost two tablespoons of the serving is as pure sugar, literally. Wow, just wow. Okay, so we'll stay on the drink category. And I, a lot of people said wine. So I just Googled, like the, obviously there's so many kinds of wine. So I just Googled white wine sugar count. And it says 1.4 grams of sugar in five fluid ounces. So I feel like that's not that bad. This is two grams, so it's less than this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's check red. Red wine. So red wine is less than that. It's only 0.9 grams of sugar, so that's pretty good. Let's see what else you guys said. Um, Lemon LaCroix Cheddar Chex Mix. Hmm, I wonder if that has sugar in it. Lemon LaCroix though, I don't know if that has sugar. Let's look. So Lemon LaCroix doesn't have any sugar in it. So if you drink those, good job. So I'm kind of confused by these nutrition facts. I'll screenshot it to the best of my ability and post it on here. Okay, so the one on the left that says 210 calories is the um, single serve pouch. So what like one person would eat and then on the right, I think it's like for two bags of it, it just says as packaged, so I'm not sure. We can do both though. So also this little pouch is only 1.75 ounces, so that's not a very big pouch of cheddar mix. And it has five grams of sugar. What the heck, people? All right, five grams of sugar in a savory treat. Doesn't make sense. And then in the whole package, it's 11 grams of sugar. Shoot, here it is, 11 grams of sugar. So the next one is a weakness. I feel like this is gonna be a good one because there definitely has to be sugar in it. Um, my friend Maggie, she shared that one of her favorite snacks is Trader Joe's cookie butter. Have you tried that? It's literal crack. It's so good. They also have cookie butter ice cream literally life-changing um but it's definitely not the healthiest for sure so let me pull up the um nutritional fact okay got it so it's actually not as bad as i expected this is a really jank picture but this is the one that pops up when you um, google it it's like the top um search it has five grams of sugar per tablespoon. So not as bad as the sweet tea. I would say that that's probably the worst. Evan's literally sending me things from upstairs to measure out. But let's measure out the five grams anyway, shall we? And also one tablespoon, you know you're eating more cookie butter than this. Am I right? Okay, five grams of sugar per tablespoon of cookie butter. <laughs> I feel like this is what really puts it into perspective. Do you see how full this is? So full. And that, that is how much is in one tablespoon of cookie butter. Yikes. I love it too, Maggie, though, so don't even worry. Let's do orange juice. That's what he said. I feel like this video is going to be so long, but let's do orange juice. So there, here is the Kroger version. Here is the Trader Joe's version. Uh, orange juice, they're both just normal orange juice, no pulp, I don't know the difference, but there's a difference in the sugars. So I'll just take a picture of this right quick and upload it so you can see it better. So this one, the serving size is eight ounces and the total sugars is 21 whopping grams. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour all that in there. So let's see. Eight ounces is right here, so that's a serving size. I would say like a solid amount of it is, wow, dogs. A solid amount of it is sugar. Like that's so much sugar. Why are you even adding sugar? Huh, 
to the orange juice. And then in the Trader Joe's one, there's actually 24 grams of sugar. Yeah, even more. And the serving size is the same, eight ounces. So orange juice, delicious, but could do better, guys. Could do better. Okay, so the next one we'll do is, hmm. People said tacos, but that's like kind of hard to narrow down to see like how much sugar is in it. So I'm gonna do creme brulee. My mom said that creme brulee is her favorite and I was like, mom, I've literally never seen you eat creme brulee, but apparently I don't go to fancy restaurants with her is what she said. So I'm gonna see how much sugar is in it, which I do love creme brulee so much, but it's literally like, every time I eat it, I feel like I'm getting a cavity. I know it's so sugary, so can't wait to see this. Let's pick, do they sell it at Texas Day Brazil? I feel like that's where my mom goes all the time. Texas Day Brazil. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, so this is creme brulee from Texas Day Brazil. This is their nutrition facts. Are you guys shook by that? Also, how is there even, probably because the eggs, I guess, the protein. But 48 grams of sugar? Wow, this is exciting. Oh, mom, you're gonna have a clogged artery or something. High cholesterol. <laughs> Ellie, stop barking at people. Okay, you know one creme brulee is usually like yay big. <sighs> this is so much sugar. I hope you guys are having fun with this video because I am. And I'm gonna try to edit it so it's not 100 years long, but at this point it might be. So if you've made it this far, congratulations. Okay, next we're gonna do barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce is Kroger brand. It's the KC style original, and it has 11 grams of sugar in two tablespoons. Okay, I think the creme brulee wins for being the worst, but I also think that the sweet tea is a close second. Because the sweet tea I think was worse than the orange juice. I don't remember at this point. Here's 11 grams of sugar that's in barbecue sauce. Also, I feel like unnecessary. Why people be adding sugar to all of this? Maybe this will be the last one because I feel like the other ones, um, wait, I should do a Starbucks. Okay, I'm gonna do the Starbucks oatmeal and a Starbucks drink and then we're gonna see what it is because, and we're gonna end it there because yikes, okay. Starbucks perfect oatmeal. Nope, we want the Starbucks blueberry oatmeal because that's what I always get, so I'm trying to put this into perspective, you know. Sugars. Oh, dang it. 13 grams. Why though, you know? Why? All right. 13 grams of sugar. Can you guys see this well enough? There we go. Like, that's so much sugar. I, it wouldn't even fit into my hand. That's a lot. Okay, so the last thing, we're gonna go with the bang, because we all know Starbucks drinks are not good for us, but how good do they taste? Let's do a Starbucks chestnut praline latte, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't see it yet. Nervous, nervous. So this is for a grande. Nutrition. I'm shook. I'm actually shook. This, I think this is the worst. You guys, there's 39 grams in a chestnut praline latte. Are you actually joking on me? I have a Starbucks cup literally over there. I'm the worst. Wow. This is outrageous. Okay. I am not well from this. I'm never getting this drink again. I have no words. This is literally so much sugar. Are you actually? This is almost to the two ounce line on my freaking mason jar of sugar in a grande. Evan says I should do pumpkin spice latte too, but I am shook 
how many times am I going to say that? I don't even know. But Starbucks, why are you putting 39 grams of sugar in our coffee? That's why you're addicted to Starbucks. It's because sugar is like a drug of addiction and you can be addicted to sugar. Hello, this is why you're spending so much money at Starbucks if you are. Oh my bejesus. Okay, well, moving on. We're going to finish out strong with a pumpkin spice latte. Maybe it'll be better. I think that that just just took first place at being the worst for sugar. Oh my God, I'm stressed to see what this is. All right, so we're gonna do it again. This is also for a grande. <sighs> you guys, oh my God. You know how many pumpkin spice lattes I got? Oh my gosh. 50 grams of sugar in a grande. This is literally off Starbucks website. 50 grams of sugar in a grande, like no chain, no changes, no like almond milk sub substitutions, nothing. A normal pumpkin spice latte has 50 literal grams of sugar. I am not well. Okay, here we go, guys. I don't have words. I'm not well from this situation. This is all the sugar in a pumpkin spice latte. Like, I can't even barely tip it over because there's so much it'll fall out. Look at that. In a pumpkin spice latte, like eight ounces of liquid. So to right here, oh wait, no, that's, I think it's 60 ounces. So this jar size and a little bit more of liquid, but this much sugar, I think we gotta stop. I'm stressed about America's eating habits, which I condone in from time to time. So we're just gonna close this and I'm just gonna keep on baking and never drinking a pumpkin spice latte again, maybe. Maybe I'll get sugar free. Well, I really hope you liked this video. It was actually more fun than I expected. This is gonna be pretty long. So if you've made it this far, comment down below and Tell me which one you're the most shook by because, oh my gosh. If you guys like to see more like fun videos like this of seeing um, what other kind of sugar stuff is in the things that we're eating, I will do another version of this video. I'm not gonna turn it into like a, a sugar comparison YouTuber, but um, comment down below which one you are shook by the most for sure because huh, pumpkin spice latte takes everything like but the sweet tea was also shocking because it was only two tablespoons of a serving size remember pretty sure at least um but okay if you guys liked this video um give it a thumbs up as always and don't forget to subscribe so you guys know when my next video comes out for vlogmas i am doing one video every day for the month of december to count down to christmas but um it's always fun to be able to see or just like to honestly it's fun to see who subscribes when i get a little notification on my phone i can't look beyond that on who my subscribers are but i just love each and every one of you that support me and make it to the end of my videos so um give it a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you very soon bye so i'm editing this video right now and i realized that i didn't share my like good message of the day so i'm sharing what's hanging behind my wall right there and it says give god your your weakness and he'll give you his strength so that's your um, day three vlogmas motivation, inspiration. Take it as you wish, but I love you all. Bye.